the question is, can the immune system be used to kill all cancer cells? Diagrammatically, as you can see, if we will theoretically transfer cancer cells of a patient with advanced disease into any other individual, if we do everything possible to make sure that that individual will develop cancer, if we ask the surgeon to connect all the blood vessels, and if we try our best, we will never succeed, simply because the immune system of the unrelated donor will kill all cancer cells, down to the last cell. This, more than 25 years ago, indicated to us that perhaps the immune system of any individual, or specifically the lymphocytes that circulate in the blood, T lymphocytes and natural killer cells, are the best oncologists, are the best hematologists, because they can kill the last cancer cell. If that is the case, we thought, perhaps we could cure cancer by transferring such cells into the patient. Because if such cells can kill cancer, let them do so in the patient's body. Unfortunately, if we will do that, nothing will happen and the patient will have no benefit. This is simply because now the immune system of the patient, namely his T cells and natural killer cells, are going to kill the killers. And consequently, there will be no benefit to the patient. We then asked ourselves, how can we exploit the capacity of donor lymphocytes that are so powerful to kill cancer cells? And we came up with two possible solutions. Option one, if a patient will be treated at a stage of minimal residual disease, we can take lymphocytes from any individual, activate them to become professional killers in the laboratory, in clean rooms, under strictly sterile conditions, and then we transfer them to the patient. If the patient has truly very few cells on board, such killer cells may kill all the cells, and consequently, the patient may be cured. Due to the fact that such cells are fully mismatched with the patient, the patient is going to reject those cells. In other words, they are going to circulate in the patient's blood only for a few days. And if there are only few cancer cells on board, a few days may be sufficient to kill all cancer cells. Can we show that professional killer cells, activated lymphocytes, indeed can kill cancer cells that fast? As you can see in the next slide, indeed this is the case. You can see that activated natural killer cells, and K cells, can kill cancer cells within minutes. And therefore, if there are only few cells on board, cell therapy by activated lymphocytes may be most effective. In order to improve the capacity of donor lymphocytes to kill cancer cells, and in order to maximize their selectivity and specificity against the cancer cells, we can now use monoclonal antibodies, and much more elegantly, by specific antibodies that will bind the killer cells, both T cells and natural killer cells, and guide them to their target, to the cancer cells, like guided missiles. This approach, as you can see in the slide, is very effective for selective killing of cancer cells. However, as you can see in the following slide, not only such a method is effective for killing cancer cells, it is also most effective for generating long-lasting immunity against the cancer cells. Animal experiments suggest that following elimination of cancer cells by bispecific antibodies, it is possible that we also generate long-lasting immunity because the cells that are responsible for initiation of immunity are also affected by the antibodies. The antibodies will bring them to the target. The target will be processed in the antigen-presenting cells, presented to the lymphocytes, and now the lymphocytes will create immunity against the target antigens and eventually kill any emerging or residual cancer cells. In our center, we have additional methods for treating cancer, 
including vaccination. We can use patients' own cancer cells in order to immunize him or her against cancer. We can use allogeneic cancer cells. In other words, cancer cells obtained from other individuals that have similar disease with similar genetic structure in order to force the patient to induce an immune response against his own cancer. Likewise, we are using poultry viruses in order to kill cancer cells by direct attack over the viruses against cancer. In certain cases, chicken viruses, poultry viruses, can penetrate into the cancer cell, multiply inside the cells, and kill them. As you can see, we have a variety of technologies in order to try and kill cancer cells that are resistant to chemotherapy. In our International Center for Cell Therapy and Cancer, we are now applying all of these modalities and more in order to try and eliminate cancer cells, preferably at an early stage of the disease, at a stage of minimal disease following conventional treatment for patients who are considered high risk and unlikely to be cured by any of the available conventional modalities. Our unique approach is to try and apply the most sophisticated methods shown to be effective in basic science, in preclinical animal models, and apply them as fast as we can at the patient bedside. The other unique feature of our center is that we are always considering a special approach for a special patient. Our treatments are custom made, are personalized. We know now that every cancer is different, every patient is different, so it is unlikely that the treatment will be the same for all. We have to consider the special features of each cancer, the special features of each patient, and apply the treatment on a personalized, individualized basis. We are trying to do our best to apply any reasonable, scientifically-based modality for the treatment of cancer, preferably at a stage of minimal residual disease, which in most cases can be accomplished right at the onset of the disease. We will be very happy to offer treatment to any patient in need once we are convinced that we may be of help. Everyone, patients, family members, treating physicians, are welcome to apply to our center for further information and be sure that we will be glad to see you if we believe we can be of help.